Hello, guys. Welcome back to Ventilate, guys. I am finally back at it. Right? I am so happy, so happy to be around. I am so happy that I get to come back and just tell you guys, hey. All the videos are going to be coming up exactly same timing every week. We're going to keep getting more and more videos. The only day I'll be resting will be on a Tuesday because there's nothing happening between uh, Tuesday, Monday night to Tuesday uh, afternoon for us here in Australia. So on Wednesday, that's when the tournament begins. That's when a video will come out on a Wednesday, which in America should be a late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning in, in Australia. So that's usually the kind of timing that you should be able to get a few more videos coming out guys i have really really good news these korean boys were coming for me hard right it was getting difficult and i knew that i was an airplane it everything stuffed up it, it, it put me back to level one and it said that hey you need to make sure that you have to log in and i go oh shit what if i log in with the wrong email if i log in with facebook would it delete the old one it said that it may or may not i was panicking I was in the middle of like what 10,000 feet in the air. I go, shit, do I take a risk or do I not? As you can tell, I'm here because if not, I'll be back at level one, guys. That will be very sad. But thank God I backed it up. So, guys, that's a, that's a heads up, guys. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Please make sure your account is good. If not, you can contact them on um, Game Hive and let them know what ha what's exactly happening and then try and log in again and then hope that you're successful and everything doesn't just delete out of your way and so my boy over here was at four uh 420 uh 7500 so basically we were just the bracket underneath and he was trying to come up at me and i knew he was farming 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 so that at the last second he can jump back up in order to get me however he didn't make it he couldn't make it and he wasn't there and i was able to out farm him and it was literally down to the minute right and it was so funny because people just watching me tapping on my phone the whole damn time while I'm, I'm in the air in the middle of the you know wherever the heck i was in the middle of the air and yeah i was able to back number one guys so this is one hell of a story i thought i want to share this with you because this is just absolutely insane down to the wire and i think he would have been pretty mad that i think he thought that he could back that but he, he just couldn't make it over the line and um, I was very lucky to get number one for that one. So well done to you, Mr. Korean man. NG, you've done very good. However, I'm so sorry. I had to back that W, man. I had to back the W for the team. So that's exactly what happened. And today is going to be a longer video. The reason why today is going to be a longer video is because, hey, I've been away. I thought I owe it to you guys that I play a longer one to show you guys exactly how I play. Um, so let's see solar eclipse mm, this is a, okay i'm pretty sure that this is shadow clone okay let me have a look all right if i get out of this video is am i gonna leak anything at home i'm not gonna leak anything right i don't know we'll see we'll see okay let me get out of my phone and let me show you how i get my discord up there we go sweet you guys didn't see nothing yet you didn't see nothing orca bang bang so like quips guide uh let me so some of you have been asking where the skill tree imports is it's right here all you have to do is click that copy text boom boom shika shika la la import it allow paste yes done apply and you're ready to go while people are wasting their time you are sweet to go okay so that's going to give you a bit of a boosting um timing and straight away, let's not waste any time. Let's get my brave chest and shadow clone slash boss go jackpot baby. Yeah, give me the jackpot. I know it's a lot more lower in terms of damage for now, so I'm gonna keep that. And gunblade should be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, gunblade, right? Man, I haven't played shadow clone for so long. Um, but yes, that should be sweet, and I should be able to do it twice while I start discovering because it's just, it's just going to start generating itself. I don't have to do anything. Critical Strike, Twilight. Now this is fine. Uh, bang, bang, companion or damage, tap go. Nope. Okay, let me get one more. Is that gonna be helpful? Nope. All right, I'm gonna put it, oh, I'm gonna go 5% because it's, it's just at the start, right? Like, it, to be honest, you can probably put it all into Book of Shadows to get a bit more, but I'm just gonna put it here. Why not, okay? That's just the way I'm gonna do it. 
and that should be able to get us and where is that bad boy so i am i, I tend to do this so that i can um, actually get that so hold on let me just keep going a little bit longer oh that's why i'm an idiot sorry sorry guys some of you must be screaming at computer going no you haven't done the dragon and rush make it rain and doom i apologize there you go i am there now so that's why i was like oh why is it not going up as fast as it normally does and next minute you realize you know mr ventilator over here is being a retard and so there we go gotta get that up and going another 49 whatever just keep going just keep going and it's gonna start farming itself boom boom jackpot critical strike critical strike not yet like sweet delete keep repeat rinse repeat and so yeah this is going to be quite fast as you can tell it's it's shadow clone so technically i don't really have to swipe and you still keep going um it is to slow off all the others however it is still very fun i do miss shadow clone shadow clone was really really good build and definitely a lazier build but fun um i didn't mind it however it does get a bit mind numbing after five procedures you just go Damn man, I just want to tap something now. It's, it's just like tapping or no tapping doesn't make any difference. So the downside to Shadow Clone is that when you stop tapping, it really starts to get very boring very quickly. Um, it is handy because you can just, you know, lock all your uh, skills on, turn it all on, and just let it be into max levels and then just rinse and repeat. It's, it's pretty simple, um, but I think it is a lot less powerful as well. So there is a bit of an incentive now uh, for clan ship slash pet build because it, it does benefit you to actually tap than to not tap so um, i think that that was a good move by developers because it was getting a bit boring and it was very powerful it was just outpowering everyone else all right let me get that oh no not yet it's not ready it's not ready it is not prime it is not ready give me that critical strike Shh, okay sure fine whatever gunblade sweet and there you go rinse and repeat and off we go and off to the moons we go. It is really not that hard. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Time to pull the trick of the century. And I find this to be a very good technique, right? So once you get this thing going, and obviously because it's Shadow Clone, so I don't have to worry. Uh, I can just let it run because it will run faster. Um, we get all of my items. Okay. And let me have a quick look and see which one's useful. Shadow Clone, 100%. Uh, so all spells effect blah 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 yep and i think that's it all right we need to pour everything into shadow clone put it at 25 just in case so we don't screw it up get the chest and once we get the chest we double check nothing boom uh, sorry don't, don't go crafting just yet let me just get all my items here and once i finish getting any items 10 plus I did nope Fundamental, nope. Okay, <laughs> that's how long I haven't played it. Uh, let's get one more. Come on. All right, sweet. So 25, and we're just gonna go five each. And the beauty about the 25 five uh, version is you are technically able, I believe, you're technically able to get all of the bottom stuff where there's a max level to it to be maxed out. See, for example, here. And there you go and that, that's one of the beauty of the 25.5 after you prestige again and that way it gives you a lot more um, push ability and then you just keep going and it's going to activate more spells get that come back you collect and you just go through the things that you do need don't need bang bang delete craft 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 where is my bad boy treasure hunter and hopefully i can um, go a little bit higher with this one why not hey I do have a bit of time to kill, so I do have the weekend off, so I am going to do this. And yep, there we go. That's still going, still pumping. Let's double check, nothing new, wait, or whatever. Still pretty low at the moment, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. Gun plate, bang. And usually you wanna have a bit of a rare item or, or something, some kind of item. You don't want it to just be a, a plain basic, um, equipment because it really doesn't go anywhere and it's not helpful so you do want to have a bit of that um, however right now it's still at the very early stages of the game so it doesn't really matter too much in my opinion okay and so that's what i think it's good but we'll see how it goes you know i think everyone plays it differently but 
for me it just it just seems a bit more logical it seems a bit more easier so i try to tend to stick to that okay okay uh, where am i where am i okay let me see how much skills i have yet so about 330 364 now i'm gonna wait until 500 okay before you get import so guys just rinse and repeat so yeah so a little bit of a um backstory i was on holiday so thank you this is a something that i been working really hard for the whole year and finally had a bit of a break with the meso we went out uh, we, we traveled in Japan. It's it's such a beautiful country, guys. Like honestly, uh, make sure you visit soon because I think the overwhelming amount of tourists have um, somewhat affected and destroyed a lot of the peacefulness that you used to get. So, for example, about ten years ago when I went to um, Japan, I went to Shinjuku, Harajuku, Shibuya, and the Shibuya Crossing. Everything was pretty chill you know what i mean like er everyone's just kind of minding their own business everyone's just working nothing crazy and you will see that you know things were very clean you could barely see a cigarette butt on the floor you won't see any rubbish this time around when you get to shibuya shinjuku harajuku and, and at night and you go to Rapongi, you go to all these like very famous places at night and my god there, there are quite a bit of rubbish on the floor and i was very surprised at uh, the level of, of standards that have dropped and there's just so many people and the craziest thing is there's all these bloody instagram models left right and center and i'm like you know it's like good on you like you know doing your instagram thing like i don't mind okay you can do whatever you want but when you literally see hundreds and hundreds of them standing posing taking pictures and videos and i'm like guys turn around just look how beautiful at the place you're in but they, they just can't see it you know and i'm just like man and i don't know like Posing sexy poses while you're in, in front of a temple in, in, you know, Tokyo. It's just like, uh, I don't know if sexy goes well with temples, but sure, why not, you know? And it's just, I don't know. What I'm really afraid of is that, and people might see this as a bit of a disrespect from a Japanese standpoint. And if, if so, and it's annoying them and it's pissing them off, then one day they might even close, you know, a certain amount of, restrictions slash something for people that are not foreigners i i don't know you know because it i feel like that this is yeah there's a lot of people just not very respectful in terms of how the culture works you know everyone walks on the left and then you walk on the right however in osaka is the other way around you walk on the right and then sit with the left and only in elevators and then but then you know walk on the street normally but you don't eat and drink while you're walking you know if you want to eat and drink you kind of stay in a corner on the side of the road and you don't just keep going you know what i mean it's just all the little unspoken rules and even sometimes japanese people don't even really realize that that is a rule that they have it's just something that's just normal so i don't know so but if you guys get a chance you you have to go to japan but please learn a little bit of their culture and understand their their lifestyle and how they work around things and how they're just so different from the world that's why it's so attractive and so us going over we we have to learn to be respectful towards them and you know if if like for one of the biggest tips that i i did get from youtube and uh some of the people that are living abroad in japan i think you know that youtube um, uh, video guys if you look up japan you will see that guy abroad in japan and he's talking about like if the chef ever asks you if it tastes good or not never go hmm i don't know you just always say hmm oishi or like it, it tastes good oishi oishi right you, you never say it tastes like shit because for them that's their artwork that's their craft and you, you you cannot say shit like it's it's not that they don't want to take negative feedback it's just not in their culture to do so and also you can't tip even if they do really really well because they take it as as an offense to tip as well so it's kind of like it's all these unspoken rules and un unspoken sort of cultural differences that how we portray as kindness or appreciation may not be the way that they receive it and um yeah it's 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 a very very different place but guys man you, if you get a chance i think japan's an absolutely amazing banging place to go to uh, but always please be very careful because when you go to places like uh real late at night and let's say shibuya or, or you know not just the crossing but around like shinjuku area or where that godzilla thing is it's like yeah man it's, it's madness there man absolute madness and there, there's all these like touristy sort of like i want to say trap but i would say it's like yeah, you go there and it's overhyped and you're like, ugh, is that it? Mm. 
and you go like, mm. so I think you get really, really got to do good research and, and watch out for more of the um, uh, well-known places you should and shouldn't go. And guys, please check out Osaka Castle. My God, I couldn't just, I couldn't stop looking at the, the, the rocks and, and the, like the uh, construction of the walls and stuff. I mean, if you guys are into ancient apocalypse and if you look at, you know what Graham Hancock talks about and you just stand there and you look amazed at the rock and you go there is no way a thousand Japanese or 10,000 Japanese guys back in the 1700 dragged that bloody stone that stone was huge huge massive not even tiny huge I'm talking massive right how do you even cut it in the first place all right fine I'll let you cut it you cut it how do you even transport it okay fine you transported it how do you even put it in place how do you chip it off and make sure it was the right spot in the right space and stack it on top of each other with a nice slanting motion that goes from the top to the bottom smooth edging everything is laser point focused and that rock i kid you not is one and a half stories high you couldn't even jump and climb it it's literally one and a half stories high like it is insane and how wide you ask me it is literally Bigger than a bus. It's literally a, a, a bus rock. And thicker than a rock. And yet, you know, people still somehow think that hey, this isn't some ancient technology that is just some 10,000 Japanese guys carry that thing with horses and whatever. Even if they have water dragon, can a water dragon even carry that tree of dragon? Right? Like can it even happen? Like it's just so massive. And when you stand in front of you, you look at it, you go, man, this is huge. And the crazy thing about Osaka Castle, right? Obviously with wars and everything, it got torn down, rebuilt, torn down, rebuilt. But the, the castle in itself doesn't even take a 1% of the entire land that is around that had the moats and the stones. And I go, I'm pretty sure these walls are a lot harder to build than the bloody castle that they built because the castle is so, so tiny compared to the land around it with the moat. So if you guys can, you can Google it online, you can have a look at it and check it out. And yeah, guys, it, that's just one of my little hobbies. And I just couldn't wait to come back to tell you guys about this because you know, it's just some of those things where you just go, wow, like this is insanity, right? And so, yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> maybe this is a bit of a off topic when it comes to uh, Tap Titans too. So for all of you guys that came for some kind of uh, video on AT, or at least you get to see how I'm playing it while I'm talking. Obviously, I'm not paying huge attention to it, but that's what you got to do, right? You can watch videos and, and play other things and do other things while you're doing this. Um, yeah, so I just I wanted to share that with you. So if you guys ever do go, please check out Osaka Castle. It is just absolutely, absolutely stunning. So uh, just some of the ancient stuff that they have, the housing that they have, and uh, man, the Airbnbs are absolutely stunning. So good. Uh, the baths are amazing. The the onsens. It's 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 a place to really die for and go for. And yeah, there's just so much you can do when you're over there. So. Yeah, so I thought I'd share that a little bit with you, but I am back, guys. I am back, and not only am I back, I am ready to roll and keep this train running. And it's because I think I wasn't that consistent. I did drop off with a few subscribers, so if any of you that saw me come back now, please subscribe back. That would be very nice. I am very sorry. Uh, I, I know I was on holiday, or holiday mode, so I wasn't pumping as usual, and it may not have been the most entertaining because when you're traveling, it is so difficult to get uh, you know, like content out while you're traveling, while you're trying to enjoy yourself, and then using Wi Fi Hotel, man, that was a doozy. That was a doozy, right? Okay, so that's it for me, guys. Uh, nothing too insane. I think I will stop here. I can officially say this is the longest bloody video we've ever done together. So, for all of you that are actually stuck with me until the end here, hopefully, you guys are playing it along. Uh, and that you guys are actually entertained by this and I hope it gives you a bit of an update on exactly what's going on with me uh, my life what's happening and um, yeah why I haven't been posting as usual um, not as much as usual because of um, my busy schedule of traveling and using hotel internet so that's just uh, almost not possible however I've been keeping up with this and I have been making sure that I continue to push out of uh, my stock points. So one of the good points I can show you, actually, let me get out of here. Let me just show you. See, I was second. See, guys, I told you. I, I can maybe talking and playing with you guys, right? Yeah, guys, look at this, right? So, man, we had a crazy, crazy stuff. So here, look at that. My mate over here, someone banging at 133 million. Look at that, 198 million. Do you know how insane that is? 198, 149. 200 mil and yaddy yaddy for you know for 203 
187, 156, 174, and here I am at 121. I think that was my highest. I'd take a 123, 127, this bad boy, and it's it just keeps going. And um, so yeah, it's just amazing to see how like you know your clan members are doing so well, and everyone's like fighting hard and then going hard with it. This is the point I wanted to make. I finally got out of above 68. I went to 69. Now I'm in 70. And I, I'm just trying to climb this uh, world leaderboard, not leaderboard, the clan leaderboard thing, so that I can be on par with certain people, so I continue to get my uh, daily bonuses. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can show off a little bit. Let me know where you guys are at when it comes to your solo rates. Uh, mine is at 70. So, yeah, and one of the big points that I did discuss with one of my clan members is that Titan Souls, uh, what's called uh, Necro Bear. It's a huge, huge difference. Like usually when you look at your ability and you're playing, you're playing and you're losing in your tournaments, just look at your Necro Bear and their Necro Bear. Because for example, Necro Bear is 251. Uh, some people are on a way higher Necro Bear and they haven't been playing that long, but they were able to catch up and do some crazy damage and doing uh, just, as, just as good as I am. And that's just because of their Necro Bear. So keep in mind that Necro Bear is a huge thing as well. So, sorry guys, I, I, I did say I was gonna drop off, but I did remember that was the last thing I wanted to tell you guys before I go. But yes, hopefully you all had a great start to the weekend. Hopefully you guys are spending some great time as the crazy season is coming around. So make sure you spend wisely. Don't spend like crazy on Christmas because it's just one bloody day. So just take it easy. Don't be an idiot. Don't buy too many crazy gifts. Just buy, you know, whatever, you know. And if people are ungrateful, tell them to screw off and, and uh, never buy them anything again, right? Everyone's got to be grateful, okay? So that's it for me. Drop a like, drop subscribe guys. I will show you at the end of this. And thank you for joining me for such a long video. Hopefully if you guys like it, I'll keep going some, some of these longer videos. I'll give you a bit of a rant, to give you a bit of my perspective on life and then uh, what's happening uh, and get to see me play as well. So at least, you know, you get to see someone actually playing rather than just telling you, oh, this is how you should play, how you should play, blah, blah. But then they're not actually doing it. So you don't even know if they're doing it or not doing it. And um, yeah, at least I get to show you this is exactly what I do. And instead of me talking to you like right now, usually I just watch some random YouTube videos, uh, watch something with my miso, sit on a couch, you know, be a couch potato, watch a movie with her while spending time and doing tap titans too. So if your missos don't like it, man, you probably don't do it, okay? But my, mine's okay. And um, she's, she's pretty chill about it as, as long as I'm with her, right? So that's it for me, guys. Um, uh, I'm not gonna say those things again, you know, typical YouTube videos, but I didn't want it to be conventional. Uh, I wanted it to be something different, something nice for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all at the end of this tournament. Bye-bye.